Hi, we will today um, discuss about Clickbank and IPN integration with uh, MQL lock. So you can find uh, very detailed information on your Clickbank account. Um, if you go to Clickbank knowledge base and search IPN and click the first match, you will see detailed information about their IPN possibilities. Um, regarding their website, they will discontinue um, IPN versions uh, 1, 2, 2.1 and 4 still in 2014, so that is why we only support IPN version 6 and during time they have developed different versions, so we will be concentrating only on 6, version 6. Version, version 6 has uh, encryption um, available and of course in, in encryption needs um, a password or secret key we will come to these later if you need some advanced um, information then you can just read this page from Clickbank we will today um, show you how you can integrate MQL lock with Clickbank let's assume you have clients uh, you sell a product and as soon you have made um, a real um, sale you want that um, client is automatically added to MQL lock user base and if user is requesting some refund of course you don't want that this user is using your product so um, we will show you how to remove this user automatically um, within seconds from the user base and this user will be discontinued from your product so we we try to make everything um, more fair with MQL lock okay first of all you will need an MQL lock account um, you will need a professional project account uh, because on the professional accounts can uh, have access to API and we need this API to be able to automate and integrate with Clickbank so once you log into MQL lock um, you should have a professional project and and you should have a received number license type enabled this is important because receipt number authentication let's go to set up API so you click to API first thing you have to do is uh, disable the firewall update for more more advanced users you can read this um, text and you can maybe make it more secure and enable the firewall but for most of you you probably need to disable the firewall so please read this uh, warning here and we need to generate an uh, API authentication key so let's click to generate and update so this is our uh, API authentication key for MQL lock it is like a password okay now we have set up our MQL lock account uh, let's go to users you see we have no zero users inside we will show you how to automatically add users okay now let's go to Clickbank. You log into your Clickbank account. You go to settings. You go to my site. You scroll down and find advanced tools. Depending uh, on your language, it may look different, but maybe you can switch to English to find it. Actually, instant notification URL you have to see and click to edit first time you may need to activate IPN instant notification um, for this Clickbank will ask you several questions you have to click them with yes uh, to activate and and you will have an interface like this if you need any any help please uh, contact Clickbank because it is their interface they have to enable your IPN okay first thing we have to do is um, define a secret key secret key is uh, for version 6 
IPN notification uh, kind of password so please make it um, kind of complicated so let's make it something like this okay now Clickbank um, is offering two different two instant notification uh, URLs so they can actually hit two URLs together so we will just need the first one in case you integrate uh, Clickbank IPM with some other tools uh, like uh, some WordPress plugins or membership stuff you you will probably have the first URL staying here in the first and the second URL you can type here so in my demonstration I have empty so let's start I also assume you have hosting the files on your web servers and you know the URL to your hosting so let's say your domain is uh, your domain is mydomain.com and we recommend you to open a directory like IPN and put single point PHP under this domain of course you will also need API to point PHP file from MQL log so where is it from here API 2 API 2 point PHP so download it and you also host this file under this domain and directory so your, your URL will look like this for demonstration purposes I have installed um, single PHP under IPN Clickbank single PHP so if I hit this URL directly you see mqlog IP interface for Clickbank and you can just click here to get the documentation request and your IP you should see wrong IPN version or data if you see this um, then you are you have installed everything properly so this error comes because we are not Clickbank of course okay now we have the URL we go to or um, settings we put the URL here and switch to version 6 and click to test as you see it has failed it has failed because of the secret key um, because everything is encrypted you have to tell you have to tell the script your secret key so I copy here and put the secret key to secret key parameter and save it and now I will make another test it doesn't work because we probably have to save changes and okay so you see secret key must be no more than 16 characters so let's and all of them needs to be caps so let's make it like this save it save changes click to test you see the test notification successfully sent so okay this was the first step now after we see it is working with version 6 and with our secret key and your setting here we will need to set up the single PHP file so first thing you have to put is the admin email you will rece receive under this email address all the notifications and debugging logs so this is this is your email address secret key is the key from Clickbank settings we have just made and SMTP settings is regarding your SMTP details if you don't know um, 
how to set up it please consult your SMTP mail provider now we have to go to product settings so so configuration item item is a product and product IDs and here you will have to go to my products you see we have set up for demonstration six different products with different prices so item number one two three four five six so let's say we want that item five and six will activate automatically MQL lock user so what we will do is easy so we go here item 5 and item 6 we will need the I API authentication code from MQL lock and make it like this and you can keep minus 3 because there are no products with minus I um, so or you can simply delete it whatever you want save it and you are all set on this part single PHP you have to save everything of course now you will have to make a test now in order to make sure everything is working Clickbank has a testing functionality but the testing functionality doesn't trigger IPN so it is um, very important to understand these so IPN is only triggered by real product sales so unfortunately you have to make several small purchases for yourself so if you have made one dollar product sales but it didn't trigger IPN we don't know why not um, but um, with ten dollar it is working so simply make a real sale with minimum ten dollars and it will trigger IPN URL okay let's make test together so I have prepared some test environment for us so as you see users are empty I will make now a real purchase so I have done a real purchase and I go to users again you see my real purchase over Clickbank has inserted this user automatically and validated his account or her account so credential is um, the receipt number from Clickbank sale so everyone knows their um, receipt numbers so they can identify with the receipt number and this makes possible through receipt number authentication and if you go details you will see more details from the user so let me simulate a refund now I am simulating a refund um, because we don't want to charge back from our own account so I have prepared some script for this um, for this purpose I am calling the URL again you see type is refund and it should have deleted the user automatically from MQL lock so it seems to work um, this simulation is uh, only exceptional for our development so uh, normally you don't need to test the refund functionality because if sale functionality is working it, a refund will also work and another very important fact you have to understand is you will receive email emails from single point PHP file because IPN is very important you have to track everything in detail so you should actually get by every action an IPN notification 
email so email will look like this you see from from my address to IPN email address and refund you see product array details and you see user has been removed successfully deleting user mqlog api account id you have to review this file in order to keep everything working so it is essential thing for you to do if you are not very technical you can simply send this email to your developer so he can put his email address here admin email and this email address will receive all the debug logs then and then it should work so this way you can integrate IPN functionality with MQL log it is um, very basic and easy if you want to extend this script from us you can do this if you are advanced level of PHP programmer or you want to outsource it to someone else you can do it so thank you very much for watching and using MQLock